We've got a decade in which if we don't manage to shift systems, um, the consequences are truly dire. The Skull Foundation occupies an interesting space and, and, and in that, you know, well before anyone thought of such a term, um, Jeff Skoll planted the flag around this concept of social entrepreneurship. And when the Skoll Forum and the other work that the Skoll Foundation does came along, it provided a vocabulary for a range of actors around the world that we could affiliate to in terms of, hey, here is how you think about building something that's disciplined and can scale as an enterprise, but is really focused on the collective good. So all of that was deeply interesting, deeply intriguing. And at a time of global crisis and urgency, uh, felt like actually asking now what, what's that next step was one of the most interesting uh, questions to ask. So when we think about what it will take to make enduring systemic change around the world, we need to recognize that most things that drive deep and enduring change are very contextual, very specific to where they, they are based and where they come from. Um, and today we have a system that tends to scale things that come from a particular perspective. The vast majority of companies that are raising capital to build applications and solutions for the average Kenyan are run or fronted by non-Kenyans. Um, it's not a lack of skills, I'm by no means you know, the only one of my colleagues who got a great education and, and has good ideas. Um, nor is it a lack of capital. There's a lot of capital looking for opportunities to, to do things at scale. But something is broken in the system. When something seems to be succeeding and growing fast, what tends to happen in the social sector is we say, well, don't grow too fast, stabilize and so on. Meanwhile, in the world of business, if you start to scale rapidly, you get more capital to scale even more rapidly. Let's see how far we can drive this. Let's see how quickly we can pivot to do even more things better. Um, and we need to bring that thinking to the world of efforts to, you know, of social enterprise or systems enterprise, uh, but of any effort to, to attack, uh, uh, you know, one of the, the SDGs, if you will. So that said, let's not forget the future, but let's let's ask ourselves: Are we truly behaving? as urgently as we claim things to be.